I feel like if you're in a relationship, right, in the beginning, right, when you meet somebody, I feel like you should keep it real. Keep it real from the start. Let that person know what you want, what you expect. Put all the, all the, the games to the side. I feel like if you're in a relationship, you know, it's supposed to be based on building each other up. Y'all supposed to work together if you're in a relationship, you know what I'm saying? Now, if a man is by himself in the household, he's paying 100%. You know what I'm saying? That's cool because he's by himself. He has no choice but to take care of himself, to pay all his expenses, bills, insurance, whatnot. That's cool. That's what a man do, right? But if a man get into a relationship, it's supposed to be 50-50. You know what I'm saying? 50-50. But if a man is paying 100% of everything when he get into a relationship, right? The woman is supposed to be stacking that bread up. She, if somebody paying 100% of something, the other party is supposed to be stacking all their bread up, all their money up, right? It shouldn't be a man paying for everything and the woman... She got money too, but she's spending all her money, you know, on frivolous stuff. Clothes, jewelry, purses. Like, no. When you are in a relationship, a relationship is, is supposed to be, it's supposed to be two people building each other up. This is why a woman is called a help meet. She, she's supposed to help meet a man, reach his highest potential. Potential. Man and woman come together to bring the best out of each other. Not a man paying 100%, 100% not a woman paying 100%. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like if a man is paying 100% or if a woman is paying 100%, you know what I'm saying? Someone is supposed to be stacking all that money and putting plans and goals, you know, in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? It takes two to make a thing go right. I feel like a woman that sit back and watch a man struggle and pay all the bills without even offering nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, she'll leave that man, you know what I'm saying, for somebody who can. But a woman that sit back and watch a man pay everything, you know what I'm saying, without offering anything, that's not your woman. You see what I'm saying? She's not your woman, but I feel like if a man is paying a hundred percent, um, you know, the female is supposed to be stacking all that money up. You know, it's like a man, right? A man is never rewarded from my experience. A man, a man's emotions and feelings is never looked at. I feel like don't nobody care about a man's, you know, um, feelings and emotions. The only thing, the majority of this world, when they look at a man, they look at it like, you know, he's supposed to just bring all the bread to the table. He's supposed to be the one that bring everything to the table. You see what I'm saying? Um, but if, if you're a female and you a man or the only thing you can bring to the table is the sex that's not gonna last long you know what i'm saying um why a man pay a hundred percent you know what i mean but 50 50 all of that i believe that's how it's supposed to be in a relationship um that's why before you get in a relationship you're supposed to let you're supposed to have a clear understanding of what you went in for. Are we just in it for, you know, uh, sex in a bed just for pleasure and lust? You know what I'm saying? Or are we in this to merge together to become one? You know what I'm saying? But a lot of relationships need to be courted today. It's a process you got to go through. But the, this type of new world we live in is like the dating, 
the dating, you know, people really don't want that. Every People want everything in an instant. You know what I mean? But it's about learning and knowing a person. But the realest thing is, when before you get in, into a relationship, create an understanding in the beginning. Hey, is this based on just lust or is this based on, you know what I'm saying, um, becoming one together? You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, a man is looked at as just a breadwinner. A lot of women a day, these new women, modern women, look at look at it like I don't need a man. You know what I'm saying? So they find a man, um, pull a man in, um, who's not on their financial, you know, level, just so she can have all the control. You know what I'm saying? And because the majority of women today, yeah, they want a man, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, they don't, like I said, these new women don't like to listen to a man. You know what I'm saying? The majority of women today only care about, the only thing they really loyal to is their, cur is their current emotions. How they feel at the moment. That's the only thing they really loyal to. You know what I'm saying? This is not putting women down or anything like this. It's, it's like getting to understand that the majority of these women, the majority of women, females, they are only loyal to their current emotions, right? A lot of men in relationships don't have control. The woman Chew them, chew them up, spit them out. You know what I'm saying? Be like I said, the sex don't last long. You know what I'm saying? It don't last long. It'll get you, it'll get you a ways, but it, it won't last long. You know what I'm saying? You might as well go out there and get you a prostitute or something. If it's just based on sex. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like in a relationship, it should be, you know, you're supposed to help each other out. It shouldn't be just one person paying everything while the other person just sit back watching. You know what I'm saying? That's not going to last long either. You know, women set demands. And men, you know what I'm saying, these days, they fear to set demands. Even when they're paying 100%. Yeah, it's true. Back in the day, I done seen that. My mother, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. My grandmother. I never seen my grandmother work before. My grandfather, he took care of the household, but it was demands in the household. My father went to work. My mother, it was periods of times I had never seen her work, but she was a working woman, but I, it was periods of times she didn't have to work. She was a live-in mother, but there were demands in our household. You understand what I'm saying? So it is that old law where, you know, grandpa, the old grandfathers and grandmothers, that's how they work together. But it was for a purpose, though. You see what I'm saying? It wasn't built on lust. It was built on longevity in the family. You understand what I'm saying? But like I say, the majority of females today believe a man is supposed to, you know, uh, pay the 100%. And, you know, in return, the man go get sex. You understand what I'm saying? But it's like the man's are not met in the beginning. You know what I mean? It's like, I can remember many years ago, you know what I'm saying? Um, how the man's right on spot. If I'm taking you out, when I'm getting out of it. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't even considered a form of disrespect. It was like being just being 100, being straight up. All right, I'm, I'm taking you here. You know what I'm saying? Okay. What I'm going to get out of it? Because you keep it real in the beginning instead of faking. All right. The end of the day, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take you here. I'm going to do this. But what I get out of it. You know what I'm saying? But luckily, 
I never had to do that, but you know, um, I just feel like demand demands were, you know, stated in the beginning instead of playing games. But I feel like if you're in a relationship, it's supposed to be 50-50. Y'all supposed to be helping each other out. All the games and all of that grimy stuff, you know what I mean? That ain't going to get you nowhere. But that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? You could agree or disagree. You know, but like I said, if a man paying 100%, somebody's supposed to be saving all the money. Saving all the money. You know what I'm saying? If a man paying 100%, a man should be able to state demands on what he really wants. You know what I'm saying? But all of this got to be, it has to be stated in the beginning of, of the relationship. Just keep it real with each other. What you want and what you don't want. You know what I'm saying? But at the end, it's all about respect. You know what I'm saying? Ain't about going out here fishing for men. You know what I'm saying? Who you feel like... um who can finance your lifestyle, but then when that run out, you run into the next, to the next person, to the next person. You see what I'm saying? Um, you shouldn't even be in a relationship. You understand what I'm saying? You belong to the street. If it's like that, you understand what I'm saying? But this, this right here is, is true. It's what's going on. Demands are not being made in the beginning. Stop playing games, all these, you know, stop playing the games and state your demands, what you really want, you know what I'm saying, when you meet someone.